Now the verse mentioned God. So a Christian will say, oh, we are, that means, do we believe in the same God? No, we don't believe in the same God. No. We both have happened to believe in God, but we don't believe in the same God. The reason why I'm saying that, well, I'll come back to that. But let me take you to Quran chapter 3 verse 64. To tell you why we don't believe in the same God. In Quran chapter 3 verse 64, God is saying, Kul ya ala al kitab, ta'alahu ila kalimatu sawai. Baina na wa baina kum Allah na abuda illa Allah. We are not going to worship except Allah. You see it here, Allah. Allah. If you go to the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, you go to chapter 6, verse 10 to verse 11. Try to find the Aramaic version. You see the word Allah there. Allah is there in that language, Aramaic. So Arabic and Aramaic are sister languages. They are sister languages. They evolve from each other and then we, out of that, we can have what we call also called dialects. Now, Aramaic and Arabic and Hebrew are also sister languages, right? So now when you take the word Allah, it's not foreign. It's not a new word. Of course, the modern day Arabs, you hear them say Allah, Allah, Allah. When you take the Quran, the first initial of the name of God is Allah, El. Right? However, people are trying to modernize it by using Ah, Allah. No. Allah. You go to the Aramaic language, it's Allah. You come to Hebrew, it's Allah. That is El. You come to Arabic, it's Allah. That is why when you take the Arabic version of the Quran, you don't see the Alif Fat'ah. Bil, uh, Alif Bil Hamza Bil Fat'ah on it. You don't see it like this. There is no Hamza. On top of the alif of the name of Allah, right? Uh -huh. The modern day Arabs will argue, but I'm open for discussion. If you know you are up to the task, come, let's sit down and discuss. So now he tells the messenger, say, oh people of the book, let's come to equal term between us and you. So even if you are listening to me and you claim you are a people of a person of the book, whether you're a Christian, a Jew, whatever you call yourself, and you claim you are the people of the book. Now, this is the agreement here. O oh, people of the book, let's come to equal term between us and you, that we shall not worship except Allah. Because Jesus himself, so this is Mark chapter 12, verse 29. And I'm going to read up to verse 30 to show you something interesting in the Bible, right? Now, when you go to the Bible, Jesus being the messenger of God, for people who say, hey, Jesus is not the messenger of God, who oh, we go to Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Jesus said, I was not sent, but to the lost sheep of Israel. So whenever you are sent, what do you become? You become a messenger. In Finnish language, they say, Sanan Sataya. The one who has actually gotten a message to deliver. So it's Sanan Sataya. So that is a messenger. So Jesus answered, the foremost is here, O Israel, because he was sent to Israel. Jesus was not sent to France or Japan or United States. He was sent to Israel, the people of Israel, children of Israel. So Jesus answered, the foremost is here, O Israel. He's talking to Israel because he was sent to them. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. And I repeat, here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. Then it continues. And you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, meaning no room for any other entity to be loved, right? That is in terms of your faith. And with all your soul, meaning your soul doesn't, you don't dedicate it to any other entity in terms of your, your, your faith. And with all your mind, Meaning, don't give it to any other entity in terms of your faith. And with all your strength, your strength should not be dedicated to anybody in terms of your faith. Do you see what Jesus said? Do you see how clear it is? You see?
Aha. Uh -huh. So Jesus answered, the foremost, because he was sent to Israel. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. I was not sent but to the lost sheep of Israel, right? So he, Jesus, being sent to the lost sheep of Israel, and he's telling the Israel, children of Israel, the foremost is here, O Israel. The Lord, our God, is one Lord, not two Lords, not three Lords, not four Lords, not five Lords, one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. Don't give that heart to any other entity when it comes to your matters of your faith. We are not talking about your personal lives, like loving your kids, loving your wife, loving your husband. Not that. That is just your personal things, right? But we are talking about the aspect of faith. Okay. Let's go back to the Quran. So now, the agreement is, say, O oh, people of the book, let's come to equal term between us and you. That we shall not worship except one God, that is God, except Allah. Neither shall we associate anything with Him. That's exactly what Jesus said in Matthew, uh, Mark chapter 12, verse 29 and, 20 and 30. That's exactly what Jesus is saying. Neither shall we associate anything with Him, nor shall we take each other as lords besides God. And I'm talking about God with capital letters and block letters as well. So, but if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are submitters. So me, Baba Shrive, I submit to the statement Jesus says. I submit to that. Right? I listen to what Jesus says. I respect Jesus. I obey Jesus because he's a messenger of God. So I respect what he says. So I believe in one God. And I have one Lord when it comes to matters of my faith. One Lord and one God. And that is the creator of the universe. So this is the agreement God says we should call the people of the book. So whether you are Jewish, you are a Sabian, you are a Christian, this is the agreement God says we should call each other to. So now this is where the truth can be established. So if we both agree that there is only one God, we can sit down and have a fruitful discussion. Do you see how it sounds? Now, right, the truth is bitter, right? Uh, Quran chapter 43, verse 78. We have brought you the truth, but most of you hate the truth. Okay, anyways. Now, this is what will stand between anybody who hates the truth and the one who likes the truth. So now, let's go back to Quran chapter 2, verse 62, so that now you get to understand why God made that statement in that verse. So God says, Indeed, those who have believed and those who are Jewish, the Christians, as well as the Sabians, who believe in Allah, that is Billahi. So who is the Allah? We want to know which God. Is he talking about three gods? Four gods? Five gods? A flying God? A God with wings? Or a man sitting in the clouds? Or which God? A human God? Which type of God? A God who eats food? Or who was born? Who has a father, who has a mother, or like how? Is it a God which will die or not? So now let's be specific. In order to know this God, we have to go back to the words of God, to listen to God himself telling us who this God is. So we go to Quran chapter 112, and we start from verse 1, right? 112, sorry. And we start from verse 1, and we read up to verse what 4. So he says, say, he, the God, is one, just like Jesus said, right? It is one God, not two, not three, not four, right? One God. The everlasting God, he has always been the God. There's no other new God or, you know, you say this God has, uh, is outdated, so we need a new form of God. No, he has always been the God. He neither begets nor was he begotten. So God does not have a father, he doesn't have a mother. Neither does he have a wife that he begets with. You understand? He neither begets nor was he begotten. He doesn't have a beginning and there's no end. Right? He himself is the beginning. Nor is there anyone equal to him. He cannot be compared to anybody. 